Hey, it's Jim. Today we're going to look at the Rad Runner Plus from Rad Power Bikes. And this is the fourth bike I have personally purchased from Rad Power Bikes. And I'm only going to briefly do an unboxing and I'm really just talking about this from the perspective of the buying experience. Um, I was really in between the Rad Runner, the Rad Runner Plus, and the new Rad Runner, Rad Rover 6 Plus, um, the new style of the Rad Rover. I'm not a big fat tire bike fan so I kind of went with this one and also the Rad Rover 6 Plus was a few months out um, as far as being available. Like I said this is a fourth bike I've bought personally through Rad Power Bikes. Um, all I got was a hundred dollar discount code that they had uh, circulated on this so I got it for I think it was $16.99 that, that stuff will be on the screen. And the reason I went with this over the regular Rad, Rad Runner is one, it was available sooner. And some of the things that I really kind of considered that I'd want to upgrade on the regular Rad, Rad Runner were already on this and I was really back and forth on the price. I really think you need to have multiple gears. That's something that'd be easy to change. And also the suspension fork with the lack of availability on parts these days, I was uncomfortable that I'd really be able to find a fork to fit that. And on this cargo bike style of a bike, I, I really think you need that functionality of that suspension fork. I think it's gonna really help the rideability of this particular bike. Um, I was attracted to the Rad Runner because it's like a compact cargo bike, real compact, and actually has some passenger hauling ability. So I, I'm really looking forward to actually using this and I hope it works as well as I think it's gonna do, do it because I really bought this bike for me. The review is, I hope it helps you out if you're looking at this bike for a review, but I really got it for myself. So um, the uh, the biggest thing I'm gonna say with Rad over time is my first bike I got from them, I returned. I was not happy with the original Rad Wagon's build quality and I just wasn't. Um, and I didn't really think Rad was gonna survive. How wrong was I? And uh, so every time I've bought a bike from Rad, the experience has been better. This, there were multiple emails that came out just showing like, and they were, and they were well written. So it was like, welcome to the Rad family. Here's some things you should know. Here's our return policy. Here's a shipping window. I got the bike four days after ordering it. Um, I am also on the West Coast. They are in the, it's shipped from the West Coast. So that's part of that, but it was, Real quick, it left the facility the next morning. Um, it was all, it was all great. Um, and then the box itself. This nice picture on the side that I'm considering cutting out. Um, this one's got like mountain type stuff, and the other one has more city riding with uh, some of the cargo bike and st stuff on it. Uh, the box itself did get a little rip on the end, but it is a very thick box um, and well packaged inside. UPS and FedEx tends to mishandle these a lot. Um, I'm gonna do a whole nother video about that down the road. So what I wanted to cover on this also is just how good they just, you know, there's a lot of other companies competing with Rad, their customer service, and then just they're thorough. They've just done a really good job. And I'm, I'm not a Rad Power Bikes honk. I don't get paid by them. I don't release videos on the same day that they release a new bike or anything like that. Um, but you know, just little things like it's like helpful things on the inside flap. So when you open the bike up, you're like, oh, well, there's some stuff. Um, I also review scooters, and the thing, the biggest thing with scooters is they tend to have a lot of foam to get rid of. There's really not that much packing stuff in here once you get the bike um, itself pulled out. So. I'll uh, do, again, I'm going to point to another video I'm gonna, about how I reuse these boxes. Behind the camera there, I have a whole stack of scooter boxes, um, and I use them out in my yard. So I'm just going to quickly put this uh, bike together. I will probably show not very much of this, but I'll, I'll give you some first impressions. And yeah, then I'm going to start diving into this. I'm, I'm planning on riding this thing a lot. I want to get a lot of miles on this bike. Um, so let's dig right in. Little box of goodies. Just gonna peek inside. So it's got pedals, charger, toolkit, lights, um, some bolts. 
and just that massive headlight that you see on the uh, on the advertisement with a a nice uh, labeling on the back. They just, I mean, there's a lot of people competing with Rad Hemiway. There's a lot of companies, but I've yet to see somebody that's really got their stuff together and is responding better from a customer service standpoint. A lot of other companies, once they start getting big and selling more products, um, the customer service starts to go away because they feel like, they, why do you really need a customer service costs money? So when they start selling a lot of bikes and they know that their ch customer service isn't really changing how many bikes they sell, they, customer service starts to lack. And I've seen that with a number of scooter companies in particular. So this is a pretty big bike. It's sitting on the, they use a little fork brace. Um, what I like to do, since I know I'm not going to try to return this bike, if they're, Rad is, that's one of the benefits of buying with the Rad, from Rad is, I know I'm not going to have to return the bike. So if there's a problem with the fork where the box was damaged a little bit down there, because that's usually where the damage seems to happen on these boxes, I know they'll make it right. So I'm willing to cut this box and know I should be okay. So I'm going to cut out the in flaps of the box, that way I can just slide the bike out, and then we're going to look at it. There's always a lot of zip ties with these. A pair of uh, wire cutters or dikes are really key. I've done enough of these bikes that I don't really feel like I need to watch some of the videos. But if you haven't done this, I recommend hopping on one of Rad Power Bikes assembly videos. Um, it kind of changes over time, and I always find that there's something I do that they recommend doing a little differently. Um, but I'm stubborn, and I, I think I can figure it out. Wow, they got the battery just wrapped up like crazy. Uh, with a big warning sticker here. Um, one of my Rad Power bikes, I actually, the battery tabs were broken. And they sent me no, new tabs. Uh, no questions that I mean new a uh, whole new battery without any question asked it was it was surprising really well packaged there's foam on both sides of the fender the plastic fender um, but real really well packaged the other thing I'm looking for the handlebars just came off is scratches um, you know I like you know this with taxes and stuff, this was a over eighteen hundred dollar bike. Um, so I'm 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 expecting this to basically be like perfect. Even though ordering a bike through the mail, that that's really not the really the realistic expectation. But that's what I want. So I'm I'm looking at this bike very critically, and I recommend you do the same. So they used to have a little bolt that would hold the front fork on in place. It uh, looks like they changed that design a little bit, so they're actually using the quick-release skewer down there, which I think is a good idea because now I can just pop out that quick-release skewer, and I'm going to set the brake on uh, the front tire on there just so I can put the kickstand down, make this a little more solid. Well, that took me a couple minutes longer than I expected. All right, for now I'm going to just go look quickly at these other warning stickers, and just to make sure I got nothing, I need to go email Rad Power Bikes about. Okay, make sure the stem's tight. I got that. I understand that. Maybe you can tell I'm a little bit excited. I've actually had this bike sitting here for a couple days, uh, waiting for the time to be able to assemble it. So the biggest kind of negative for me with this bike potentially is the Silverfish style battery, which is, this isn't quite Silverfish, but it's the same position. Um, I'm not sure if it will come out. Oh, okay. There's actually room to go into the side. So, red standard battery. Just making sure everything looks good on the bottom. Looks like it didn't suffer any damage. All right, so now you get to uh, clean up all your zip ties. But this is my first time actually looking at it in person. I, did, I didn't even really look at it. 
I'm liking it. It looks sharp. It looks real sharp. It's a. I didn't really uh, appreciate that this black, this black area was the sticker was going to be on here. Um, it looks pretty cool. I'll take this off the ground so it doesn't get too. Um, I mean, even the pegs. I, I think it, it just looks. It looks pretty fun. For some reason, I thought there was a crossbar in here. Um, obviously, there's not. I'm not sure what goes down on the bottom of this. But got attachment points all over the place. Let's see what it feels like. I mean, it's heavy. It's a heavy bike. But looks solid. I don't see any impingement. Sometimes these, uh, these will get bent in. Of course, you got a nutted rear axle. You got a little. Ah, yeah, that... Red does a good job. The only thing I'm seeing that's a little weird is the position of the controller. It's kind of down here at the bottom, um, with something below it. Looks like water could drain under out from underneath it, but a little different uh, placement of that. And it's listed as a 750 watt class two bike. So. Kind of like the moped style that's popular right now. You can drop this seat for that kind of style. So it's a little multi-purpose that way, right? You can do moped style. You could come way back here. I don't know. I think I think it's gonna be fun. So, all right. Hopefully, just look a idea of what it's like to buy from Rad, and just a look at this bike initially kind of gives you a feel for what to expect if you're buying a bike. I don't think most people would be disappointed, especially with the buying experience, if you find the bike that you like. Another thing I liked about this bike is it didn't look exactly like um, a lot of the Rad Rover and uh, Rad City. You can tell there are other bikes that are using the same frame. <clears throat> I didn't really see another company that was using the same frame, which is cool. So, tune back in. We're gonna have some testing results, a full review. All that stuff, happy to bring you this stuff. Any questions, comments, leave them below. Subscribe, like, all that stuff helps out the channel. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you again soon. Catch the wave, feel the